What up, kiddos? It's me, Mr. Ryan, and I have the weekly game thing that we do on YouTube here. So I'm gonna start by showing you the results from last week's one. We had three teachers last week. I'm gonna show you their uh, their statements and then the true or false, so here they are. And while you're watching these things, just know that you can pause them and come back to them. I know you can't read as fast as these are going across the screen, but I also don't wanna take this video and make it 25 minutes long. So pause it, check it out. Now, the question is, who won? Who were our winners from last week? I have the winners right here on my sheet. Looks like we had two people that tied for first place. Our first co-champions. This is exciting. Two young ladies. The first one is Jenny Nichols. Jenny Nichols, congratulations to you. She got 10 out of 15 right. And our second one is Evie Clark. Evie, very well done. Congratulations to you as well. The prize, as you know, for first place is $10 at the Dollar Tree store. So what I have decided to do is to give $5 to Jenny and $5 to Evie. Congratulations, girls. You'll be getting your prize in a day or two. And I'm just really proud of you guys. I really, truly am proud of you. Now, listen, we're gonna move on to this week's game. Actually, before we move on to this week's game, I'm gonna really quickly show the results from the week before. I didn't show you what was actually true and what was false for the teachers that went the week before last. So again, I'm gonna pop them up real quick, pause them as you need it. So here they are, you're looking at them. These are the wonderful facts about the wonderful teachers that made things up or that told the truth and then I then made things up about. Okay, there they are, pause them as you need to. Well, let's move on to this week's teachers and the facts that are either true about them or that I just chose to make up. So I'm finding them on my phone right now. We have um, two bonus teachers that I left out, Miss Nestor and Miss Sullivan. They have assured me that they forgive me for having left them out, but they do want to be a part of this game. And so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and read them to you right now, kiddos. Are you ready? Miss Nestor's false or true facts. Up to you to decide what they are. Are you ready? Number one, her great aunt is the lady on the front of the raisin box. You know the lady that's like on the red raisin box? That's her aunt, her great aunt. Her average aunt is not on that, but her great one is on it. Number two, she doesn't have any cousins, but she has 19 nieces and nephews. That is interesting. No cousins, but a ton of nieces and nephews. Number three, she was a contestant on The Price is Right, but she never got up on stage, which I'm not sure what you call that area down front where you get called up and you you bid one of the four people. She got to contestant row, is that what they call it? Congratulations, and also, bummer, you didn't do better. Um, she was in a commercial for Jansport Backpacks when she was 11 years old. Hi, this is my Jansport. <laughs> What's happening? I keep my books in here. I'm guessing that was your line, Miss Nestor. Very cool. When she was little, she moved so much that she went to nine different elementary schools and she went to three different elementary schools in one year. That is a lot of moving around. I'm gonna guess that maybe she was a military family and that's why they moved around a lot. Now listen, uh, Miss Sullivan is up next with her five facts. Just 10 facts to sort through this week, kids. 10 facts. Um, she got her first broken bone at the age of 40 playing basketball. Hmm. Miss Sullivan playing basketball at the age of 40 got her first broken bone. Number two, she has written and published three children's books. All of them are about a girl named Mary and her cat, Biscuit. Hey, Biscuit. Come here, little girl. Come here, Biscuit. <laughs> I don't know. I just like to say, Biscuit. Okay, number three, she keeps the temperature in her house permanently set to 77 degrees. She knows what she likes, and she's not about letting that temperature wave. She keeps it at 77. Interesting. Number four, she took third place in her age group for the Southern California, California, <laughs> for the Southern California archery. That's how I got the urea at the end. She took third place in her age group for the Southern California. Stop it, Bryson. I'm dealing with this. She took third place. I just ignored Bryson's phone call. That's how important you kids are to me. She took third place in her age group for the Southern California archery championships when she was 12 and 13 years old. Back to back. Stop it, Bryson. Sorry, I love him dearly. That's why I can talk at his phone and things like that. Uh, number five, she was the head food server at a restaurant for 20 years in charge of training and scheduling. That is pretty interesting. Give me your 10 true or falses on that, kids. Just write the teacher's name and then true or false, true or false, and we go from there. But I've decided 
to give you a little bonus game. Yes! That's awesome! You guys may or may not be watching our Rancho Kids Sunday morning shows, but like last week, I did this thing where I made pictures and I, and I kind of combined pictures to make words or to make movie titles or song titles or things like that. I've decided to work up a few of those for you guys. So for the competition this week, once again, first place, $10 at the Dollar Tree store. But I'm gonna combine how many you got right out of the 10 true or falses, as well as how many of these you can correctly respond to. Two other quick things before we start. First of all, if you need more time than I'm giving you as I'm cycling through these, just pause it. You can have all the time you, all the time you want. It's a YouTube video, so you are in control of the pause button. Second of all, each picture, depending upon how difficult it is, uh, each series of pictures will be worth a different amount of points. Let's take a look at the first picture right now. All right, there you go. This is a fairly simple one. So you're gonna get two points if you get this correct. And we're gonna move on to the next one, which is another fairly simple one. Uh, again, I wanna tell you guys, you can have your parents help you, you can have your siblings help you, you can do it all on your own. But this one is worth two points. And on to the next one here. Another fairly simple one. I know there's four pictures here, but trust me, this one, if you just follow the pictures, it should be pretty simple. All right, let's move on to the first of two three-pointers. This is a uh, slightly more complicated one. Ask your parents if you need help, but it's worth three points and we are moving on. All right, this one is a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna change that picture in the upper right a couple times so you, you may not know what one of those is, so I'm giving you another version of the same word. These two pictures mean the same thing, which will help you make the one uh, bigger phrase or word. So that is your final 3.1. We've got two four, four, two, four, two four pointers right here. So here's our first four pointer. This is our first one. We're actually taking part of a word away. That's what the minus symbol means. So take that bottom word and get rid of part of it. And we'll move on to our final four pointer. This one is again, slightly more difficult, but nothing you shouldn't be able to solve with the help of, you know, just your brain or some friends and family members. And last but not least, my favorite one, this one I was very proud of when I came up with it. This one I think is the most difficult, so I'm gonna give you five points if you get this one right. It is something that most of you kids will know when you say it at the end, so good luck. All right, kiddos, that is the total thing. Send me um, your true and false, the 10 true or falses in order underneath the teacher's names, and then just write down the answers of those for each one. Put them in the order that I listed them so I know that you got them right. I'll combine all your points, and the child, the student that wins will get the $10 shopping spree at the dollar store. Kids, I enjoy this time with you. I hope you're having fun with the games. I will let you know next week who won, and I'll be back with another game next week. Peace out!